y'all. No, I did not smoke a pound of weed before filming. I stabbed myself in the eye with a pair of tweezer man tweezers while I was putting my lashes on just not that long ago. So that's that's what's going on with this right here. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video for me. I've never done a video like this before. It is going to be a nail tutorial. If you guys remember from my favorites video, one of my favorites was the ASP quick dip acrylic kit that I got at Sally Beauty Supply. And I pretty sure in that video or maybe another one I had asked you guys if you wanted like some kind of a tutorial or some kind of how to on how I do my nails and a lot of you guys were like yes girl we would love to see that so before we cut into it I just want to throw a couple things out there the first being that I have never done a nail video before so hopefully the angle is okay hopefully you guys can see what the hell I'm doing the second thing that I would like to address is the fact that I am not a professional I am not a nail person I am not a nail technician I'm just a chick I am just somebody that likes to do this on their nails and a lot of you guys wanted to know how I do it so that is the reasoning behind this video I'm not doing this video because I'm a professional if you are like a full board professional like nail chick you're probably going to look at everything I'm doing and think it's wrong because it's not you. You know what I mean? So, like I said, not a professional here. This is just how I do it on my nails. And I decided to make a video on it because I thought maybe it would be helpful for you guys to see somebody else doing it before you try to jump in and do it yourself. And by somebody else doing it, I mean somebody that's not like a professional, just a normal person like you are. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out that did go out and buy the kit because I know a couple of you have commented on my videos and sent me snaps in my Snapchat saying that you bought the kit but you haven't done it yet. So hopefully this video helps you kind of take the leap and just do it girl. If you totally fuck up and your nails look jacked AF, you can always soak them off and just not do it. Do you know what I mean? You guys will see in the video, like I tell you, you know, if you do this or if you fuck up, you can totally fix it by doing this and what have you and whatnot. So if you guys want to know how I got these claws right here, then keep on watching because we gonna do it. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and do this thing. So the first thing you're gonna need, I threw the box away to the kit, so sorry about that, but the kit that I use is the ASP Quick Dip that you get at Sally's Beauty Supply. It's only 15 bucks. It comes with the Quick Dip Powder, comes with the activator that you spray on afterwards. It comes with the glue that you see right here. Personally, I do not like this glue um, because it's a really, really thin consistency. I went ahead and got this one, which was only like three bucks, and I like the consisti consistency of this one way better. Also, just a little tip, you can actually use this glue to glue your nails on as well, so you don't need a separate glue. So literally the kit, like, comes with the nails and it comes with this and then I think it came with a little file but I don't use that so the kit is the first thing that you need next thing that you need obviously is your nails and I'm only doing these three fingers obviously yes my nails look like shit because I wear acrylics on them so they're going to look like shit so I went ahead and sized my nails up first so on top of all that I went ahead and purchased a 100 to 180 grit file you can use whatever grit you want whatever grit you want to use to like get them to your desired shape is fine like I said I, I don't know I don't really know what's up like I went to Sally's and asked my friend about it because she does it on her nails and she was like get this and this and this and that's what I got I don't know anything about what I got I just know that I got them and they work and they work damn good so the next thing is I think these are called like a buffing block or something again not a nail professional so I'm not really sure all I know is that it says medium fine on it the next thing that I got was another buffing block. I do know that this is like a smoothing block, I believe is what it's called. So if you go into Sally's and tell them, hey, I want to use this, what do I need? Do I need a buffing block, a smoothing block? Like they will tell you. Those girls know what's up there and they know what they're doing. So they'll let you know. So you'll also need a pair of scissors. 
And then I went ahead and grabbed this. I got this at like a kit at the mall, you know, those people that are like, oh, let me see your nails and buff them, make them all shiny looking. That's where I got this, I bought a kit. I didn't use, I'm gonna use the shining part of it. I didn't use it on my other nails, but because I just found it and I didn't realize I still had it. But I'm gonna try it on these nails and just, just see what it does. So, gonna give that a go. So, what I'm gonna do first is take my 100 to 180 grit. This is the 100 side, this is, or yeah, right? I don't know. This is the not so coarse side and this is the coarser side, basically. Uh, so I'm gonna take the not so coarse side and just kind of rough my nails up a little bit just so they stick really well. And you also wanna make sure that, which I've already done it, you also wanna make sure that you put like some kind of cuticle remover on or cuticle oil or olive oil or whatever and push your cuticles back really, really well. So once you've got your cuticles pushed back, then you can go in and file your nails down. To save a little bit of time for the video's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and rough my nails up glue my nails on and fire file them down to my desired shape and then i'm going to come back and show you guys what i do just so you guys aren't sitting here like watching me do something over and over and over again i mean it's kind of like it ain't rocket science you know what i mean you guys know how to glue nails on so i'm going to go ahead and glue my nails on cut them down file them up and then i will be back all right y'all so i've got all of my nails like cut and filed to the shape that i want so a couple of tips when gluing your nails on. First off, when I forgot to tell you guys this, maybe I should have showed me gluing them on, but that's all right. When you first kind of rough your nails up with the file, you wanna make sure you brush all of that dust off. Um, you don't need like a special brush or anything. I wipe the shit on my pants and it's fine. Um, and you wanna make sure you don't have any like little air bubbles or that's gonna cause lifting. Sometimes I have air bubbles and I just say screw it and continue on anyways we're not perfect like i said not a professional just a chick so i'm going to go ahead and grab my file and what i like to do before i start the actual like acrylic process is to kind of file down this little groove right here just so that way it's a little bit more um flush with my nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and just file that down a little bit. And again, you wanna make sure that you're brushing all that dust off before you go in with your glue again. So let me go ahead and file these down and then we will start with the acrylic process. Okay, so I went ahead and filed them down. You don't have to get like crazy with it. I mean, it doesn't have to be like completely flush with your nail, just as long as you don't have like that big giant bump. And you honestly don't even have to do that. I just prefer to do that because I think it's a little bit easier in the end to kind of smooth it out if you do do that. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is open your powder up. And I like to like tap it to get it down in there. So you're just gonna take your glue, and this is the same glue that you use to um, move that. The same glue that you use to glue your nails down with. And by the way, your cuticles are gonna look like shit, but you can put some oil on them afterwards and they'll be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue, dip it in, and get a good amount on my brush and just brush it on like you would a normal nail polish but you want to make sure that you're staying away from your cuticle like you don't want to physically touch your cuticle with this glue and you want to be sure you're getting like a really nice and even layer on your nail with the glue and i'll show you here in just a sec So staying away from the cuticle, brushing it all the way down. I prefer this brush a lot more over the brush that comes with the kit too. And then what I like to do is kind of come, if you can see, I come like around the sides like this, just because I think it makes it look a little bit more uniform. So you just wanna check and see if there's any spots that you missed. I got like a little tiny teeny bare spot over here so I'm going to go ahead and go back over that and then go back over the whole nail and make sure it's all nice and even and smooth. 
and once you get used to doing it a couple of times like you'll just put it on like crazy by the way this is only like my second time doing this so bear with me here then you're gonna go ahead and grab your powder and you're just gonna take your finger and just dip it right in I like to hold my finger in here for like a couple of seconds um, just to make sure it gets fully saturated and then you're just gonna tap the finger off and tap the excess dust off and it's gonna look like this here then you're gonna grab your activator and you're gonna spray your nail and I usually do two sprays just to just to be sure don't worry if you have dust around your fingers um, because there's not glue with the dust around your fingers it's not going to get hard like it would does that make sense like you will have dust around your fingers when you spray but it'll brush right off like it'll wipe right off because there's not glue attached to it the glue is what makes the activator work so like the glue and the acrylic together are what get hard but the glue or the activator and the powder don't get hard you know what I'm saying so you're gonna go ahead and do that let that dry for a minute or two all right, so once you've let that dry for a minute or two, personally, I like to go in with a second and sometimes even a third layer because I like mine to be very thick. It's literally that easy, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this nail and do this nail with the overlay, and then I will come back and we'll start buffing and I'll tell you how I buff. All right, now that I have all my overlay on and my acrylics are cool, um, I personally like to go back through and file everything down and reshape them. This one here kind of looks like one of those little jellyfish from Super Mario <laughs> because I was really sloppy about it and didn't have it filed down um, the way that I like. So what I do is take my little uh, 100, 180 grit and I take the softer side and I'll just go through and buff over the top of it. This is really hard to do, by the way. And then I'll take the harder side and do like the edges here. This is so hard to do on camera. How do these people do this? All right, y'all, so I went ahead and filed this one down just to show you, I mean, without you having to sit there and watch me fucking file something for an hour, just to show you guys that if you screw up, you can fix it. Like this one is the prime example of that like it looked like a little uh, jellyfish from mario and now it looks like a nail so you just want to after you file it go ahead and line it up with your other nail and make sure it's pretty even this hand oddly enough is like fatter than my other hand so the nails that i have to put on this hand are bigger so they're always going to be like a little bit uneven and even uneven once you're done doing that and you kind of get it to the shape and you smooth it down, a couple more tips that I have are if you take your glue like around the edges here like I do with mine, you're going to want to take your file and file it like this just so that way you don't have any like lumpy bumpies all around the edges of your nail. You want it all to be like really nice and smooth. Once you get done with that and you feel like your nail is pretty well even as far as smoothness goes. Another thing I like to do too is kind of turn it to the side and put it really close up to my face and look at it and just to see that it's even and there aren't any bumps going on. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but just to make sure there aren't any ridges, I'll even go over with my finger and kind of feel it and make sure it feels smooth. After you're done with that, you're then gonna grab your buffing block or whatever it's called and go ahead and file that down and you honestly want to buff the hell out of it the more you buff it the smoother it's going to be and the more uniform it's going to look and the better application you're going to have with your nail polish afterwards so let me go ahead and buff this down so you're not watching me buff it for an hour once you're done doing that it should look a little bit like this should be really nice and smooth if you've got any little spots or anything that you need to buff down go ahead and do that then you're going to grab your smoothing block you may not even have to do like both these steps this is just what i do again not a professional here people this is just what i do so then i'm going to take my yellow block and go ahead and buff that down and the yellow block you won't I probably should stop doing that while I'm talking 
The yellow block, you won't have to like buff as much as you will with this one. This one really, really smooths it out after using this one. So the yellow block, you won't have to work on it as long and your cuticles are gonna look jacked AF until you get the polish on and slap some cuticle oil on there and then they'll be fine. So just go ahead and take your buffing block or your smoothing block or whatever the hell you wanna call it and buff that down. Again, taking your finger over it, making sure it's really, really nice and smooth. So you're just gonna go ahead and buff it down until you get it to the point where you like the way that it feels, like the smoothness of it, until there's no little bumpy things around the edges of it. Like I said, with the other file, you're gonna wanna do you know, smooth under the nail too with this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna take my shiner block. Like I said, I really don't know what's about to happen here because I didn't do this with my other nails, but just to see, just to see what happens. And then I'm gonna take the side that makes it shiny and go ahead and buff right over that. Can you even see what I'm doing? Oh yeah, it does make it shiny. Oh, so you can use one of these too. So like I said, um, wow, that makes, I'm gonna start doing that from now on. Heck yes. That makes it really shiny. That's probably gonna look a lot better when you put the nail polish on too. Definitely suggest a shining block because I'm assuming it's just gonna make your nail polish application that much more smooth and uh, put together looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my nails, and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint my nails, cause you guys know how to paint your nails. I mean, it's just painting them, you know what I mean? And then I will be back and show you guys the final product. So here are the finished nails. Mind you, I have not washed my hands yet. I haven't put cuticle oil on yet. So my cuticles are still jacked AF. They will look a lot better. I mean, I'll be honest, I really don't take care of my cuticles to begin with. That's why this one's like all charred up because I don't get down like that. Like, I really don't care. So yeah, so this is the finished nails. Here's my other hand. Like I said, these, my, this hand's a lot fatter, so these nails are always like wider, but you can't really tell. And if you, if your nails aren't perfectly even, like nobody's going to know as long as they look, you know, pretty damn close. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, obviously, because nobody's going to be looking at your nails that goddamn hard except for you. If you guys are curious as to what polish I use just for shits and gigs, I use the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in the color Bear Hug. It's a newer color by them. I am kind of in love with it. So yeah, that is that. So back to you, Val. All right, y'all. So that is about it. That is how I do my claws here personally I prefer doing this over like going and getting them done because if you guys follow me on snapchat the last time I went and got them done the shape was kind of off and he just didn't really grasp what I was wanting especially if you're somebody that wants stilettos like you know what you want them to look like do you know what I'm saying and even though you tell them what you want them to look like they may not necessarily be able to convey that because they're not seeing what you see make sense Okay, so I honestly prefer doing it this way um, just because if I fuck up, I'm the one that fucks up and the only person I can be mad at is me. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out if you went out and bought the kit because as I said, a couple of you told me you did. Just do it, girl. Just do it. You can soak it off and start again if you F up. So that is about all I can think to tell you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all Snapchat if you please. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.